All right, guys, this is Mobile Gaming Nerd. We are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free to play mystery shard only run video champion spotlight. Today, we're going to be talking about Spy Master. He's a kind of a new hero girl guy. We don't know. He's hidden in, he's shrouded in mystery. Uh, but either way, kind of a cool hero, has some interesting things that are interesting about him. I hope you guys like that. Uh, and we're going to look at his skills and see what he's about and check him out. So here we go. Skills. A1. He's got an A1 that attacks one enemy, has a 40% chance of decreasing the duration of two random buffs on the target by one turn. That is actually really good for uh, some of the potion keeps early game and even some of the annoying bastard monsters that are in the D Doom Tower. Then you've got an attack on all enemies, has a 50% chance of placing block buffs, debuff for two turns. So that's an AoE block buff. That's kind of cool for the Valkyrie waves. Very interesting. Could be used in campaign as well. We also have a counterattack uh, buff on this champion for two turns. Also has a 75% chance of placing a provoke debuff uh, for one turn on two random enemies. So yeah, he can provoke. It's not super exciting, but it works, and that's all that matters. As far as masteries go, what we did on Spy Master was we went more offensive down to War Master. I don't think this character does tons of damage, so I think Helm Smasher would almost be a waste unless you really, 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 really built him up. But War Master seems to be more the thing for him. It looks a little better, so basic offense tree. And then we have a support tree that goes all the way down through the accuracy. And then we did pick a chance to extend the duration of any buff cast by this champion. And we also have the increased the chance of placing any debuff from skills from artifact or artifacts for five for five percent. I'm a mess, apparently, right? Who knew? All right, so let's look at his artifacts and what we did. So basically, we threw him in a bunch of stuff. He is an HP hero. So if you look at his skills, this is based on HP damage, this is based on HP, and this is based on him counterattacking. So there's nothing there. So we tried to get his HP up pretty high, as, as high as we could. Uh, we did put him in a crit rate glove. We put him in an HP chest, obviously, and a speed boot. We do have him in HP ring, HP amulet and accuracy on the banner because we want those block buffs that's the whole point of this character is we want the block buffs to be going up and yeah that's it so let's close this up and look at the total stats so where do we get mr spy master up to we got sixty nine thousand hp we've got 1952 attack 2500 defense we've got 200 speeds so we just hit that mark we still have a few points we can get from glyphs and we have 100 percent crit rate we have 84 percent crit damage we have 183 resist and 240 accuracy accuracy so we could easily you know try to find some crit rate in here on some of the gear and then eventually throw some crit damage on him and see if he can do any real damage but right now we're really just focusing honestly on this block buffs and on the chance to decrease two random buffs now where would you use this fine fine feathered feline well we could go into arena and we can check out but as always we'd like to go into the arena and see what we got let's refresh this and see where this person will be helpful so now I don't think any of these people really have... Like, here we go, a Valkyrie. This is going to be an annoying fight. Let's go in here. <laughs> Let's go in here. Um, where are you, Spy Master? So we're going to bring in Spy Master and see. Now, the problem here is I don't... When I bring new heroes into the arenas, they're not speed tuned. So I don't really know where they're going to pop up or where they're going to end up. So we're going to do this. And that's going to mess us up a little bit. Now, this might kill everybody in here because these guys are not that high level. Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do is try to get these block buffs going so that we can do this. All right, so it only block buffs on this guy. So now we're going to try and kill her, which did not work. And then we're going to try to kill everyone else. Now, at least we can't get, at least you can't get the counter attack on the other hero. So I know we're, it looks like we're going to have to get some more. This one's probably high resist. Most people would want to put a high resist on a Valkyrie in the arena, at least because you know that that you want that resistance and so nobody can take away your counter because that's like the coolest thing ever right to have a whole team with counters um let's see if there's anyone else in here we can use in here to fight i want to find a team that has something that we can block yeah I'm not mithrala this is going to be some nice fights hopefully we find something here please be something in here because i don't want to oh it's gonna stink we're gonna have to skip these even though i want them <laughs> oh there's more all right we're gonna just pick somebody here we go this one this one's annoying right let's try this one now most most of the time, if there's a, a, is it Lilith? Whatever her name is. If she's in the fight, more than likely she has high resist. Probably not going to land too much on her, but we can still freeze her. There you go. And now we're going to do the all enemies block buffs. All right, so we got two people that we were able to block buffs on. So that's good. Now we want to kill you because you're going to revive everyone. And then we want to kill as many people as we can in one hit. Now she's still alive. If I remember correctly, she revives everyone in the whole team, which is really annoying. 
So yeah, we're just gonna we're not gonna use our main skill because they're gonna she's probably gonna revive everyone. So there we go. Now everyone's back. Now we want to do this, maybe place counterattack on this champion and chance of placing a provoke. Let's go for a regular attack, see if we can kill this one. All right, so that that worked. Now she's probably gonna revive this one, right? If I had to guess, nope, didn't have to do it. Attack up. Now let's see if we can take this one out again. All right, so she still had the AOE, so that's good. But she's still going to revive everyone. So now we're going to try to remove all this, all this nonsense. All right, people are going to start dying soon. All right, so we have a turn meter that we can remove. We're going to try and take hers by killing her. Let's see what happens. Now we're going to go for, is it Misha, whatever her name is? Let's see now. Did she get that thing on a cooldown is really is the real question. Is she going to revive everyone? Yeah, she, she revives everyone. So this is just a jerk-ass team, but we're going to go in and try and kill them anyway because it's fun, so why not? Let's try to provoke people. No, we're going to try and kill people. We're going to try and kill you. I want as much damage on this person as possible so that this person can die. All right. And a lot of nonsense going on. All right, so a lot of things happening. All right, let's do... We're going to use this skill because we still have the AoE. All right, so the reviver is dead. We don't have that problem. Now we're going to revive everyone. And up, oh, and she killed herself, and now we've got a problem. So now we want to kill her because she's green, even though the other guy is closer to dying. I mean, he's actually he's actually worse for the team, but there you go. We won. Look at that. So would I use Spymaster in the arena? No, I probably wouldn't. But if you can get the accuracy up high enough and speed up high enough to where you can do the block buffs immediately, that's great. But unfortunately, I think a lot of these teams have some stuff going on where you can remove all that. So, I mean, it is what it is. I think this is more of a PVE situation where you would want to use it there. But yeah, I mean, we were able to beat this annoying team that's stupid that we don't like. <laughs> let's get out of here. All right, let's go into campaign real quick. Let's check out some campaign stuff. All right, so now in Nightmare, would I bring you in Nightmare? Probably not, but the worst team in here is here. So now we're going to find the worst one. I don't know. I don't know which one has. Huh. I don't know. Let's try this one. This one looks like it's annoying. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in. This could be very helpful. I mean, if you're just trying to get through it, if you're trying to do this with three stars, probably not your best bet. So we've got two stunners. We we beat it with these two. All right. So that's what we did beat this with. However, we're going to use we're going to use him. And I think another good option here might be someone like Mithrala, because then we can stop them in their tracks. So let's start this, just so we can kind of see how this works in in practice. Now, freezing is going to work better, obviously. So now we've got three Valkyries, which is really annoying. Now, hopefully, so they're frozen now, but this one's still going. So we're going to use a Hex. Right, so everyone's Hexed. Now we're going to try and block buff so that this one can't get that off. Now... All right, so it did land on the one hero that it mattered. So now we're just going to keep re reducing turn meters. Like I said, this isn't a team. All right, so the counterattack did work on these guys, but the block on here did work. So now we can keep working on this one so we don't have to counter any of these guys. Let's just see if we can get them. They're going to counterattack. It's going to happen. Now, she has a smite on her. So we kind of almost want her to get that attack off. So we're going to just focus on this one. We'll take a hit. Luckily, he has a lot of HP. All right, so now we're going to try and freeze these guys one at a time. So that's one. Probably should have froze the Valkyrie first, but hey, what do we know? We're going to leave her alone because we want that smite to go off <laughs> and hopefully kill them. All right, let's see. We're going to try you. All right, so you hit the two people that have the counter, of course. All right, so now we have counterattack again. We're going to use this to freeze... Actually, they're both messed right now. So normally I would just kill this one, but we're going to go for this one. There we go. We stole her little buffies. And I guess we'll try to kill her while she's frozen. Let's hex it up. Oh, the smite didn't go off. Well, guess what? We're killing you. <laughs> just so we could kind of see how it works. But basically, this is how it's going to be in, in the fights. You're going to essentially be able to... Okay, so she removed stuff, so that's good. Um, you're basically going to be able to block them from doing that stuff if you have high enough accuracy. It looked like the accuracy on this isn't that great. So if I had to choose between these two... like We don't have to go through the whole fight, but I, if I had to choose between these two, like for doing block buffs or something else... Honestly, 
I would just use someone like Ryan, let them get the stupid thing off because they're pro they're definitely going to get it off. You know what I mean? Um, and then just have Ryan remove it. So in some senses, Spymaster is kind of not that great in honest, like comparative to others. She, is, is Spymaster bad? No, not bad at all. It's kind of good. You can use, I think this is even something we can do in Hydra, if I remember correctly. So this is four Valkyries. Probably should have saved my big block buffs for this one. Unfortunately, I don't have it. So we're going to try and provoke. All right, so we got two provokes out of the deal. Maybe we can stun the other two. All right, so one's left, but she's going to get it off. But unfortunately, it did not matter. So we're good. Now we're going to try and freeze them one at a time. So yeah, this is where Valkyrie is going to be really annoying, is, is basically here. So we're going to do some poisons. We do have a smite, but I doubt it's going to go off. Let's try to reduce turn meter on you, because the smite is on the other one. And then we'll try to do this one. All right, so we got some of that. And then we'll try to kill this one a little bit more. Freeze them up. Let's freeze her. There we go. Frozen Valkyrie. And now we are good to go. I could, probably could have autoed this. Honestly, it doesn't seem like... I haven't done this with all four heroes in so long. It's crazy. Now we're going to do a stun just because. All right. So now we can do this. So, All right. So it's literally just landing on these two. Hmm, not that great. Like I said, the accuracy on it isn't that great. I'm not like super, super excited about it. It's not very... It, let's put it this way. It's not terrible, but it's not great. All right. It's good enough in a fight where you're going to be like, hey, I need to go through faction crit maybe, and you want to use that to block buffs. I mean, that's fine. You could do that, but I don't feel like it would be bad. Let's put an auto on and just see how they how they run by themselves, because why not? We're at the end. We might as well beat it. And then we'll move into some other areas. I think we'll try, maybe we'll try Hydra. I don't even know if that would be something good. The good news is he's got a lot of HP, which means, you know, we can do some pretty good damage and stay alive which is probably more important. And blocking buffs in Hydra is probably really important <laughs> because they get a lot of damn buffs. And an AoE block buff is not bad. So maybe what we'll do is we would redo redo, and try to get some uh, some more accuracy in there. So there you go. Spymaster can be helpful. Nothing crazy, though. Let's go into... Where are we going? We're going into clan bosses, and we are going into here. Let's go to normal and check this out. All right, so basically, we're going to want to bring in definitely Drex. Definitely Mithral. All right, so those are the two we definitely want. Now, Gerda can remove a lot of things, so Gerda's awesome. We definitely want Sill because we want to revive. And then we want, so we have remove. We've got removal of debuffs. We've got re removal of buffs. We've got a bunch of different things going on here. Then we'll bring in Spymaster as another hero that can do block buffs, which is good on an offhand. And then we want to be able to possibly remove or revive again. So in that respect, now most of these heroes are not very attack oriented. So I'm thinking just another reviver would be optimal here. Hmm. I'm thinking we bring in my boy. Now there's a decent amount of attack here. So the AOE attack problem we had before is, uh, is actually, I don't think it's going to be there that much. Let's try it. Let's just see how Spymaster handles it. I mean, I have a feeling, I would say that he'll be the first one to die, but I can't really say that's true. All right, so we've got the Hex going. Everything's going to be getting attacked now with extra damage. We've got HP burn. We've got block buffs. Now, the problem here is that that, is that it removes all buffs. So, all debuffs. So, basically, you're, I don't know, I feel like Hydra's a waste of time. <laughs> I feel like you need two of everything in order to make this fight work because you have to be able to do something, let them remove to like waste their skill and then hit them with stuff. So you basically have to time it out a little better than what I just did because I'm doing auto. So we're not we're not really trying hard to bring things in at the right time. But you could speed tune this or just do some attacks to start the fight and then auto once you get the correct order of things going. But yeah, I mean, I, I've seen I've seen videos where Spymaster is really good in in Hydra. So don't think that that you know I'm not really I'm not actually talking smack about about Spy uh, Spymaster. I'm just saying there's better options, obviously. But he's not terrible. He's pretty good. And the other problem here is with the counter attack. I mean, look at this already dying. But the counter attack is a problem because when they steal buffs, counter attack is going to go up on one of these on one of the. Hydras. So in that respect, I think we might want to consider not using him <laughs> um, unless you have like a protected buff to put him in a protection set. But is that really worth, you know, the effort? I mean, so far, it doesn't look like anything special. It's a normal run. 
I mean, we probably could use better versions of things, provokes, get some other things in here to make Spymaster a little more effective, but I, I don't see anything terrible here. It's, I have a feeling they'll do a, at least a little bit of damage here. But I would probably just use removal instead because blocking it doesn't really work in this fight because they just remove that whole block thing. All right, so everybody is is looks like they're getting killed. This fight is going very well for the for the uh, the would be heroes. <laughs> they're going crazy. Oh, poor spy master, you're about to die. All right, so we still have one revive left, and they ate who they eat. I don't even know who they ate. They eat Sil, probably right. Just because I need Sil. We're, we're we're definitely not saving this fight, by the way. Like I'm gonna, I'm just watching it so we can see how it goes with Spy Master. <laughs> but we're definitely not not saving. Oh, she didn't need they didn't need Sill. Okay, so we're good. As long as Sill doesn't die now, which is probably gonna happen. Or maybe not. We got the HP. We got okay, good. We got some regen. They're back in business. The fires are are burning. All right, removal not good. Let's see if Sill will revive Spy Master. We've got our defense up. That attack, that extra attack is crazy damage, right? Uh, I mean, they're not doing terrible, actually, now that I think about it. It looks like they had they were a little slow to the start. If we can get Gerda back, if Gerda dies, we're basically done here because she's the one that removes everything and is really good at adding more damage over time. Are they gonna kill this this person? Oh, who they eat? That was oh great, they ate Mithrala. We're done. We are done skis. She's, yeah, they're going to swallow Gerda. Gerda has been swallowed whole. Hey, we got some fires, so that's good. <laughs> doing a, they're doing all right. I probably, like I said, I'd probably pick someone else. So it, it looks like this isn't the best version of, of a team for this. They did a, they did damage. I mean, it's not like they did a lot of damage, but there you go. Mr. Mr. Tolog is the last one to survive because he's, he's awesome. He'll probably bring someone back, I think, right? Yeah, he brought back Drex. What a what a good guy. That's exactly the right person to pull back, actually. As long as he gets a turn off and can actually burn these guys, it'll give us a little more damage. He's gonna die. Oh well. Yeah, we're gonna not, we're not gonna save this only because it's the beginning of the week for me. So I wanna like when you guys watch this, it, it'll be the beginning of the week for a day before Hydra. But I'm, it's the beginning of this of the week for me as far as you know the resets. So I'd rather just try and do a better job here because I'd like to do I like to try to get at least four million damage on that first fight just because it kind of gives me a buffer in case I mess up. So we're gonna do a free regroup and just end that. But there you go. You you can use them here. I've seen videos where it's all rares. I think there was a few voids involved in that fight in that team. Team, but you can use him in in there and it would, does work i mean basically he's essentially he's kind of a whatever one trick kind of deal pony as a few other heroes are um the reason we built him to 60 to be honest is because we want to get more hp heroes for secret rooms and in a secret room situation yes very good hero i think we actually may have i actually forgot about doom tower yesterday so i'm like i'm like a round behind um, so I actually, what happened was I forgot to fight Bommel on the high end. Here we go. I forgot to fight Bommel the other night, last night. And yeah, so now I'm just like, I have nine keys and I'm weird. I like to do everything even. So I don't, I don't want to do all this. <laughs> all right. So let's see who's, who's got HP champions. This is not, so that's secret room nine. I feel like there was just one here. This is force champions only, which actually works. So why don't we pull out? Hmm. Bog Walker's really good. We're going to pull out her, even though that's the best option to keep. And we're going to bring in Spy Master. There we go. So here we go. Secret Room. This is actually why I brought, I made, I, I built him. For when you can only do like rare. Look at that. He got three bl block, block buffs. So that's good. So really, he just needs more accuracy. That's all he needs. He's going to need like 300 plus accuracy to be able to land that block buffs. And I think if you can do that, I think you might actually have a good chance of making him a little more useful than he is to me right now. I mean, he's not bad. I, I still throw him into into fights. We fight in the city with him of Centranos because sometimes you're just limited. It's just another tool in your arsenal, basically. It's not like he's bad. It's not like he's good. He's just, he's a middle of the road, kind of rare. He's not going to really break any records, but he, he's, where he's useful, he's going to be very useful. Like, you're going to pull him out one day and be like, oh, okay, 
this is a good place for that. <laughs> You're like, oh, I didn't realize this would be a good place to use him. But he's not going to be anywhere like special. You're not going to think that there's nowhere that I would be like, yo, Spy Master is the key to that fight. It's just whether or not you have any other Banner Lords, more than likely, or HP heroes for whatever battle you're doing. That's it. You're going to look at your team and say, oh, I don't have any Force HP heroes for this one city fight. And, you know, he's going to be the one that gets you through it. So there you go. That's basically what he's going to be about. Boom. Smacking things up in Doom Tower. Secret rooms. There you go. Nice little win for, for Spy Master. Didn't do much damage. Like I said, we don't have we don't have a lot of crit damage. We could probably build that up a little too. But yeah, middle of the road damage dealer has some reasonable skills, has a provoke. It, it, good enough to get you through some problem areas if you're having problems is basically what it would be for. Uh, I would say the potion keep would probably be the only other places that I could think of where she would be good. And unfortunately, magic keep isn't open, so we can't really go in there and show it. But yeah, can remove buffs. So there's things like that that are good. And there's a lot of things that I think... You'll anyone who's struggling early game will probably really benefit from Spy Master if you get him. Say you get him like fifty, just to have somebody who can do like the block buffs and the remove of uh, of buffs. Yeah, or not remove, remove, but decrease the uh, decrease the the amount, whatever the turn, whatever. Uh, it's gonna piss me off because now I can't say it right. Here we go. Decrease the duration. There we go. That's duration, guys. Learn how to speak English, Mister Gamer Nerd. All right. So yeah. Is he bad? No. Good. Will help you out. Basically, kind of like uh, Conqueror would help you out in the early game, or kind of like uh, Totem would help you out in the early game. I mean, Totem helps me out now, but not as much as anyone else. Not as much as like War Maiden or Fleshmonger, but they help you. And any hero you get to 60 is going to be helpful. Even if it's only for that one room in the city, or one room in secret, in secret rooms of tower, or it's just that one fight that you're having trouble with, all these heroes will eventually help you. So the more you have, the better off you're going to end up being. All right. So yeah, I mean, that's Spy Master. If you guys have any places that you use him, like I said, I think I think Hydra is the place that people have used Spy Master, but it's with very specific heroes, I think, because there's so many better ones. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's it. If you have any comments, make sure you put them down below. It's always good. Uh, you help the channel. You help me. You help the algorithms. We all love algorithms. All right. They're my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing to say. And uh, as always, like, share, subscribe. That also helps the channel grow. And you can get more wonderful videos about people like Spy Master and Twin Claw Disciple and other interesting rares that nobody uses. Okay. So this is Spy Master. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. And you guys take care. <laughs>